What's up guys? John Halley, hope you guys are doing well. Just uh, check it out. Right now as I speak, I actually, yes, I, I live near an airport right now. I moved at the start of this year. And uh, yeah, what did I do? I actually downgraded. I downgraded from where I was living before. I was living in a place that was just, uh, yeah, that, that was just costing me a fortune to uh, to to live in. And uh, when you make shitty mistakes with your trading and investing, it's uh, yeah, it's you definitely got to take a step back. So anyway, so I'm just going for a walk right now, guys, and I'm just just going for a walk this afternoon and just uh, yeah, I thought I'd put this camera up and just um just talk to you guys and walk walk through you guys and talk to you about some things that's on my mind and you know one thing that I found really um, one thing I found really 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 uh, ex, um, uh, good for my productivity during the day is um, spending like at least half an hour uh, like during lunch break with no music with no nothing and just relaxing you know what I mean um, so so that's that's actually been really 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 helpful for me lately when it comes to that when it comes to doing that sort of stuff and when it comes to uh you know being productive in the afternoon and so on and so forth you know about really staying like you know i guess having that half an hour off when we're when we're when we're not when we're not working or anything like that having that having that half an hour when we're not working to uh whoo, to um to have that quiet time where there's no noise and giving us giving our minds a break that's uh that seems to be yeah it seems to be really working for me as in like calming as in like calming the uh the mind down and just just allow me to relax and and by doing that i feel like i'm rejuvenated as well too you know for the afternoon um another thing is guys that's been really helping me with my energy levels yeah, um, throughout the day, like right now, it's actually getting on close to four o'clock in the afternoon, and my energy levels, um, my energy levels right now, um, are, are good. You know, like they're not high, they're not really, they're not low, they're just sort of like they're good. You know, like I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm tired right now, and um, and there are a few few reasons why I believe that. One, because right now I'm actually drinking a liter of lemon water. That's, that's what this is right here. Uh, a liter of lemon and lime water. Um, and um, and throughout the day, I've been make sure that I. That's the first thing, right? First thing to energy, right? Is just make sure you drink a lot of water. I prefer lemon and lime because it's uh, an alkaline effect. Plus, also throughout the day. I'll be drinking probably, probably like a liter, maybe a liter and a half, sometimes even two liters. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, drinking green drinks, like having green drinks throughout the day. This green, the green drinks, actually, the green drink is like wheat grass, barley grass. Uh, the green drink I take has got all vegetables in it as well too, um, and um, and stuff like that. Makes sense. So it's uh so the the uh, the grasses is it's really 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 good for your health and really good for for that sort of stuff. Um, and so I've been finding that's been really helping me throughout my, with my energy levels, guys. I haven't been going through the ups and downs and the crashes. So that sort of stuff. Uh, as I said before, all these things really do matter. All these things actually count when it comes to me with my energy levels and and what I've been doing. Uh, you know, because energy is everything, isn't it? It really really is. Um, so the first thing is I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, secondly, I've been drinking lemon lemon water and also green drinks. Thirdly, I've been, as I said before, I've been taking some time out for myself. You know, about half an hour, say, during, during the day, where there's actually, like today, uh, I had lunch and I just didn't, I didn't um, do, uh, yeah, I, I didn't do, um, oh, I didn't do or didn't have anything that was, let me see where I can sit here. 
Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. So, uh, so, um, I, I, um, yeah, I just didn't have any music on, as I, as I was saying before, and that, that really, really helped me out. So, you know, take that what with, with what you what you will. Um, I find that just by having that quiet time for half an hour, and just allowing me just to close my eyes and relax, has been really, really beneficial. The next thing that's been really beneficial, guys, is, and I think that's been um, a contribute to my energy levels. As I said before, I'm not tired, but I, I'm I'm not tired. I'm not over, I'm, and I'm not hypey energy. I'm just like that consistent energy. And a big thing for me is that um, I haven't I haven't had any carbs. Uh, a little bit of carbs, but not much. But most most of my food has been protein, fats, um, and vegetables. You know, so I'd have like a bag of broccoli. So what I do is I mash up the broccoli. Um, and I, I put it in the pot and I cook it for about 30 minutes and then I mash the broccoli up put it put put some butter in there salt and pepper and then I'll have like an avocado and some some and some some chicken and then at night time I might have like literally as much as six eggs six full eggs uh, again I'll have some more broccoli um, and and stuff like that and then I have some nuts and stuff like that but what I've been doing is um I have I've been I've been fasting where I've been doing intermittent fasting and I find by doing intermittent fasting, I'm allowing my body to IF. You know, IF is stands for intermittent fasting, and that's the uh, the thing about that, guys. Is um, when you fast, especially when you fast, the body starts to go through a process where it starts to get rid of the cells in your body. Now, there's still sorry, the cells in, in your blood and your lymphatic system. Now. And the same time, it's rebuilding brand new, fresh, vibrant cells. Now, why is that important? Because remember, our immune system is there to keep us strong, keep us, keep us healthy, right? And generally, the reason why most people get sick, no, probably 90% of the time, why most people get sick is because their immune system is down. I've seen countless times where my partner, uh, or the parents, or my parents, or one of the sisters, they're saying, oh, "I'm sick. Don't come near me. Don't touch me." I'm like, "Get here," you know. They don't understand that that sickness, the only reason why we get sick is because our immune system's down. The only reason why our immune system is down is because we're acidic. Um, so by doing all these things I've been talking about really builds that alkaline up. And uh, so yeah, so so doing the um, intermittent fasting has been really good for me rejuvenating cells and me allowing my body to tap into fat stores for energy. So therefore, it's a lot more consistent energy throughout the day instead of instead of um instead of being high and low because i used to crash in the afternoon big time and i noticed that that was that was actually a big thing that was actually a big thing for me i used to be really good in the morning come one two o'clock and i'd crash uh, i'd absolutely just crash uh and then maybe around six o'clock i'd come to again <laughs> you know what i mean and i get a second burst and it's like why is that and it's because you know what I was having. Even if I was doing intermittent fasting, if I had a bolt load of, if I had a big lunch, like a bolt load of carbs, you know, carb coma, right? And I'm just, and I'm there for a couple of hours. But right now, I might have some broccoli, I might have some some avocado, and and that just really helps me out with my energy level. So think about that, guys. Think about some of the things I've been saying here that, to help you guys out with your energy level. And. And yeah, I, I'm just finding that it's, it's it's a lot more. Yeah, I'm not getting my spikes, but I'm not getting the drops either, because um, most my body's now running off the um. My body's running off uh, off the fats for fuel and so on and so forth. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's basically why I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and I wanted to take you guys for a walk. I'm just going for a walk right now, as you guys can see, and. Just to just to relax my mind and just to get my mind off some things and just to think and contemplate. One of the best things you can do, guys, is go for walks, meditate, um, and really have a think about you know what you're doing, where you're going, and, and so on and so forth. And to touch on the basis of uh, of moving forward, it seems like like throughout my whole life there's this. There's this perception, right? There's this perception that you have this trading or you have this, this goal in mind 
and it always seems to be this thing out there. You know what I mean? Like it always seems to be this thing out there that that is uh is hard for us to um Yeah, that it's always hard, like for example with me in trading, it's like trading's been the thing for me, but to achieve major success in trading, it always seems to be this thing out there that I just couldn't get my hands on. Like I just there was a dent it's like how do they really do it? Like what's the key? What's the secret? And we always that's <laughs> we always think there's a secret, right? <laughs> um, there really is no secret. I guess the secret if there is anything to to success, I'm talking financially here is to hang around people enough that are doing it full time. You know, like for me, uh, you know, trading the markets. Trading the markets is all about, you know, tra you know, just being raw, being raw with myself, but also hanging around people that are that are doing it, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and like my mentor just crushing it, millions and millions of dollars a year. And you can see the way he thinks, the way he, th the way he talks, you know? Like you start reading the book like Trading in the Zone. And you start to immerse yourself and you start to look at simple patterns that work in the mar market and you start to remove all the clutter and the crap and, and you know and, and you start to become a process, start to get the process where you start everything starts to fall into place. Like these things start these things start to fall into place. And that doesn't come overnight. And, and I guess like I, I I was listening to Kevin Hart's story just recently. I can't make this up. If you haven't got if you guys haven't got it go get it. I, I truly, truly, truly recommend it. And uh, and that book is just truly, truly, truly incredible. He went through like something like, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something like that. I think 10 years without no success. Clubbing, um, comedian after comedian, after com com comedy show after comedy show after comedy show. And, uh, and then after a while, things started to fall into place for him. You know, and it's, that seems to be the, 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 the theme around, m amongst most people, is that they, what, they, they might say, oh, well, he was an overnight success. If you generally know overnight success, guys, then what sort of happens, even if you do make a lot of money, you end up losing it really quickly. You either do something stupid with it, or you spend it, or you, you know, or something like that. Trust me, guys, I've been there. But to get to that point and stay at that point, that's a skill in, it, that's a skill in itself. And I guess sometimes, no, what we have to do, what, what happens is we have to go through that cycle again and again and again, a couple, at least two or three times to say, hang on a minute, what, I do good to get to this point. Then I do shit to get myself back to this point. I, I reckon, so like right now, I recognize my account's growing and growing and growing, especially in my trading. And so I'm staying on that point. So no, I don't want to drop back down because there's certain characteristics, right? There's certain things. That, that happens. And most of the point, most of the time, it's like, it's an ego, right? That ego. But the point I'm trying to make with that whole thing is like the Kevin Hart story and, and, and a lot of people out there, you know, it's like, yeah, you look at so many people out there, it's like, yeah, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success. But here's the thing that I've found, guys, that's really gonna truly fasten Fasten your seatbelts to your success, <laughs> so, so to speak, is that, is being open-minded. You know, if you're trading something right now, or if you're doing something right now that it's not working, and, and, and the thing, and you're, and you're changing it slightly, changing it, whatever you're doing is not working, then we really need to have a hard look at ourselves and saying, what am I doing to cause this? What's really going on? And let's dig deep. So for example, trading, if you're having a hard time trading the markets, stock market, then start, pick up, you know, pick up the the trading in the trading in the zone book and read it and say what's really going on because there's something there's something missing here. Because really, success only the strategy is only about you know only around about twenty percent of it. Eighty percent of it's mindset, it's mechanics. It's like how much can you handle the market and all this sort of stuff. Make sense? Um, and so it's all about that mindset. But. As uh, the the defining factor in my six in, in my turning point, especially recently this year, in my own career, in, in my own everything, I think my own health, my own mindset, my own self belief, is the very first thing I had to do. And you guys, some of you guys saw this, is I had to get raw and get raw with myself and say, what's really going on? I, I'm doing this, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm shit scared of this thing, but and so on and so forth, right? And so you've got to get raw, you've got to get real with yourself and say, what's really going on? 
And that's the shifting point. So, uh, this is fucking ridiculous. I've had a fucking had enough of this shit. What do I need to do? I need to go learn something. I'm, I'm missing something. What is that? And unfortunately, most people are looking for that, that, like, that, that, that quick strategy, right? Most people like to trade in the markets. They're looking for that real good, quick, you know, quick uh, sort of, you know, the, the quick get, get rich quick. Or if they're trying to lose weight, they're looking for that pill, or you know, or the the ab machine or something like that. Makes sense. And so they're looking for all these things to actually help them get faster results. And they don't realize it, but that, that, that whole mentality is instant results, which has been drilled on us by the fucking internet and this fucking public and this marketing bullshit out there. Lose weight within 10 days or something like that. It's like bullshit. It's like, yes, you can lose weight in 10 days, but you know, it, it, everything takes hard work. You want to transform your life in 10 days? That takes, it means you're going to work your ass off in 10 days to get that transformation going on. Make sense, guys? Um, and so, so many people are looking for that get rich sort of quick thing or the, uh, or the, the fast result thing. So, if they're looking for the trading strategy, they're always looking for the strategy. It's got to do with the strategy and nothing to do with them. In fact, it's the opposite, it's everything to do with us and, the, and, the, and then the strategy. Because the more that we can start to get in line with what the, what the market's really doing and, and actually fucking doing the work. I see so many people out there saying, I want to become a good trader. And they say that bullshit. It's like, yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that, you're a know it all. But when I say, okay, okay, here, here's, here's the simple thing. I want you to bring me a trading system or a pattern on the chart that you know without a doubt, eight times out of 10, it's gonna rock it. You know, you're gonna rock this dream. It's gonna do really, really well. And two times out of 10, it's not. And I said, that's all I want you to do. Oh, okay then, all right, well, I'll go, there. I'll go, I'll go put together a, a, a step-by-step -step checklist of exactly the pattern that I know inside my soul is going to work. And then I do that. Now, why is that so important? Because if that's the trade that you, if that's the, if that's the pattern, call it a system, because that's all a system is. If that's that pattern, that system is there to, that you absolutely honestly believe, that's your starting point, right? Because as, as, uh, as Will Smith says, the first, the person, the first person who's got to believe something before it's ex before it exists is you. For the first person who's actually got to believe what they're doing is you. You, it's important to say, okay, it's, and, it's, and that that non-reflective thing. Say, okay, what what did I do to cause this? Um, and that's that's the way it is. That there are simple things you can do to get ahead in, in life, but those simple things also take a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Makes sense. So, you know, this whole thing about this overnight success is total crap and it's just it's destroying us. And I think it's just total fucking ridiculous that, you know, and, and it's un, like even I go through this process, it's like I get this system, that system, that system. What about this indicator? What about that indicator? What about this process? What about that process? Losing weight and so on and so forth. And it's like this is just total bollocks. This is just total bullshit. Um, success is not an easy road. That's the reason why most people are not doing it. But if you can step up above the crowd, and I step up above the crowd, the first thing is getting real and raw with yourself. Say what's really going on. Secondly, admit it that you, it's, it's your fault, not anyone else's. And thirdly, say, okay, what do I need to do to start changing it? So, anyway guys, that's it for me. A little rant, a rave on um, about this thing. You know, and, and the whole point of this this thing is obviously just to do a bit of a vlog with you guys and just talk to you guys about what's on my mind. Um, but to also, you know, give you that encouragement that, you know, that that it all starts with you and ends with you. And if you're doing something, then I guess the main reason why you're not getting the result you want is because you're not totally immersing yourself into that one thing. So there's no immersion. There's like, oh, well, I do this thing on the side. Like trading the markets? I'll do that, I'll do that thing, you know, on the side, and that's it, that's on the side, and there you go, that's it. You know, or weight loss, or there's, a, there's no total immersion. Trust me, when I had cancer, and the doctor gave me six months to live back in 2008, 2009, trust me, there was total immersion on my behalf, makes sense? That's the only way to get fast results, is total immersion. What I mean, what I mean by that is that you're like, I'm gonna figure this shit out right or wrong, and it's gonna happen right now. Makes sense, guys? So, um, so, anyway guys, that's a little update, little vlog for me. Um, take a responsibility for your own actions and that's the way to move forward. And 
One thing I want you to realize, guys, is as you go through life, and trying to become successful is, is hard as you try to go through life. And one of the reasons why is because you value other people's opinions. Like my ex-partner, she loved her mum so much that she just, her mum kept her in this cage and I couldn't, I could see this, her keeping her in this cage, you know, not, not physically, but you know, metaphorically speaking. And, and I could see that my partner, she wanted to get out and she wanted to be free, but she loved her mum's, she loved her mum so much that she didn't want to lose her mum's, mum's love. And if she stepped back a bit and she said she did what she wanted to do, then her mum wasn't going to love her, which is not real love anyway. Make sense? Um, you know, and yeah, it's just it's just something, guys, that we can really, really look at, and really, you know, do in our life. We can, you know, the you know, it's so hard, guys, when we value so much love from the other people. And then we try to be successful. Like with me, I've got a family of, you know, five brothers, two sisters, seven kids, mum and dad. And none of them do what I do. None of them are on the health trip like me. None of them are into the financial markets like me and running businesses. And none of them are into that sort of stuff. So for me, it's, it's a belief. It's, a, it's always a belief like, who am I? Who do you think you are? You, you want to make a million dollars a year or two million dollars a year. Who do you think you are? And, and, th and then because I've been growing up with the belief that I'm stupid and I need to go dig holes for a living, that belief is such a hard thing. And that's, that's, where the, that's where the switch starts happening in our brains. And that's where true results start to come, is when we start to switch our brains from saying, you know, who do you think you are to start making this money? And unfortunately, we actually have people around us that actually say that to us. To start saying, you know what, no, I fucking deserve this shit. I deserve this. I deserve to make a million dollars a year. I deserve to make a couple million dollars a year. And I know that's hard because we see like we see our people saying, you see some friends or family, and it's like, oh, okay, settle for 70 or 100 grand a year. It's like, fuck that shit. No way. You know, like, oh, I, 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 am, I am so worthy of more. You know, and, and one thing that really started switching my brain, guys, is that I went and saw my mentor just recently. You know, and 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 I look what he's had. He's I look what he's got. You know how much money he's making, and his house, and his cars. And I look at my other mentors in the fitness industry, and all these other people. And these people that are no smarter than me, they're just out there rocking it and making it happen. And they're, and they're you know, and they're buying new houses, new cars, and you know, they're they're really moving up. They're building big businesses. They're building YouTube channels. You know, they're doing a lot of things, and they're making something happen of their life. And they're no smarter than you and I. They're just getting shit done, and they're not scared to fail. And when I started looking at them, I'm like, hang on a minute, they're achieving all this stuff, and I'm just here sitting here just going by. What the fuck is this bullshit? They're, they're no better than I am. And that's when you start to switch and say, no, no, not, no not only, no, who do I think I'm, no, I deserve this shit as well too. Like, I, you know, I'm just as smart as these guys. I can have this stuff as well too. It's like, okay, right, what's fucking really going on? What is this thing going on? What's, you know, and getting real and getting raw with yourself and then say, okay, this bullshit, this is stopping, this is not going on, I fucking hate this shit, move on, move, move, I'll handle this sort of shit. You know, and you're boom, and you're, and you're, and you're on there, you make it fucking happen. And then, you know, and you do whatever you have to do with your diet, with your health, with your energies, with your processes, your planning, whatever you have to do to start moving yourself and moving forward to all your ultimate outcomes. And the biggest thing I do say with that is, Every single day, we need to condition our mind for success. And neutralizing our journey for success simply means reading stories of people who have become successful. You know, like for me, it's all about looking at people who become successful. Like for me, it's like, I look at my mentor, and he's no smarter than I am. But he's making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. That's right. Hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Millions and millions and millions of dollars a year, and he's no smarter than I am. It's like, hang on. Yes, no, I deserve that shit as well too. So, anyway guys, that's a little update from me. <laughs> Hope you guys have got something out of this thing. You deserve success, guys, but it all starts with being real. Be real with your fucking self and say, this is bullshit. And then say, okay, what, what am I doing? What, what is my fucking repetitive pattern? And maybe there's a belief inside of you. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a belief. Maybe you want to go do something, but there's another value stopping you. You want love from this person, but you want to succeed as well too. But if you succeed, you, you automatically think, if, you, if I succeed, they're going to try and drag me down and stuff like that. You know, like my ex-partner, 
Sure, he's just like, what are you, what are you working for? What are you doing this for? It's like, because I, I want to become successful. You know, and they, they, you know, and unfortunately, people around you that are not as successful as you and you want to become successful, people around you, they see that you're going and you're moving, you're doing things. Not, they will say things not because they hate you, but because they love you. And they try to protect you. Oh, don't do that investing. Oh, don't go try that. What's that fasting bullshit? What's this green bullshit you're taking? Like, what is that? Oh, what is this trade in the stock market? What is that bullshit? Oh, don't go do that. Don't do that. That's too risky. Just stay at a nice, nice, secure job. Fucking, there is no secure these days. You know, people are losing jobs left, right, and center. You know, and, and so then, and therefore we have a close friends and family. Trust me, guys, when I first started trading the stock market over 10 years ago, I had to leave a group of my friends because they were just so fucking negative and I knew that I had to just change the way I am in the world to start attracting more. If I wanted more love and abundance and happiness, I had to start to be the person, I had to be that person in the world. Be the person you want to attract. To, you know, be, you know, if you want, if you want, if you want abundance, more happy, more vibrant, if you want those people attracting to you, if you want uh, money to flow to you, then you've got to be grateful for your life. You've got to have a thing abundance, be positive, and so on and so forth. These are the things that actually comes to us, you know. So there we go, guys. Hope you hope you enjoyed this rant. I'll head back here soon. I'm just going to sit down here for a minute and just relax here. Um, never give up on your dreams, dreams, guys. Dig deep. You deserve it. I have belief in you. I have faith in you that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. It may take you a while, but start small. There is no get fast results, get rich quick, you know, lose weight quick and stuff like that. Just stay on the track and just say, what daily habits must I start doing every single day that's going to start the compound and start the momentum and that momentum is going to start to get me closer to my ultimate goals. Firstly, do you even have ultimate goals? 